Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty is a science fiction novel. It's her uh, debut, I believe, by Orbit. Um, this book uh, was recommended by Books with Emily Fox. We have similar tastes, so I want to check it out. Um, the concept's pretty great. It's about people who wake up in a spaceship and they're surrounded by dead versions of themselves because they're, they're clones. It takes place in a far futuristic um, uh, time and place where cloning is like basically a, a very common thing. However, the situation that this crew of six wakes up to is very not ideal because they're trying to figure out what's going on. All of the mutilated bodies are floating around in free fall with blood everywhere and they're trying to figure out what to do. So the book has a really, really vivid and excellent opening. And you know, the, you're sort of thrust into this sort of um, murder mystery in space with clones. And then they sort of do a lot of world building about like about the clones, how they got in there, what the purpose of the ship, where they're going, and things like this. But overall, the story gets a little crappy, uh, mainly because we get a lot of flashback scenes of all the different characters. There's six main characters, so each character gets their own large, chunky flashback with little ones spread throughout, showing what they did, because in this world you can live multiple lifetimes and uh, you can sort of use the advantages of having a clone. So for example, you live as a laborer for an entire life, you can build up the wealth, and you can basically clone yourself, be reborn, lose all the weight that you had before, be younger again, and you can inherit your own wealth. And then you can use that to create a business or something in the next life, or you can just you know accrue and basically become more wealthy over time. You can learn more things, you keep the memories of everything, and uh, you basically create mind maps, which are kind of like save points. So there's some interesting story elements and world building elements. Um, not much tension, because uh, a lot of it, it almost feels like, um, uh, the 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 basis for that game called Among, uh, Among Us or something. Yeah, that's basically that. People trapped on a ship. Someone's a killer. You have to go complete tasks before the killer strikes. But there's no tension. Murder mystery aspect is kind of thrown out the window because it's kind of bogged down by these gigantic flashbacks that don't really do much except for a little bit of world building. And by the end of the story, it's very underwhelming and it ends kind of abruptly too. Uh, it's a short audio book. Um, so I think it's only like 300 pages as well in book form, uh, but the auto book was okay. It was uh, narrated by the author, which is nice. But overall, I just it starts off really really great, and then it just as you go on, there's a lot of stuff going on, and the ending isn't that great. So um, by the end, it kind of just like it, it took a great concept and didn't execute it the, to the greatest, in my opinion. So uh, Six Wakes is an intriguing opening and concept, but I felt like the book kind of just lost the ball throughout and uh, it got at least it got really weird by the end so i give uh, six weeks a two out of five